wolf tones and wolf notes in your guitar. What are you going to do about it? Wolf notes! Ooh. Wolf tones and wolf notes on your guitar. What are you going to do about it, man? How do you eliminate that or get rid of it? And why does it happen? Uh, this has been coming up a whole lot lately in the Facebook groups and uh, everywhere else, man. More and more people seem to be talking about it. A wolf tone, let's look at what it is first. When you hear a wolf tone on your guitar or any stringed instrument, it's, we're using guitar here because this is mostly a guitar channel. When you hear that, you hear a wolf tone, it's an unwanted tone, man. You don't want to hear it. It's usually louder than the notes around it. it what it is is the resonance of a frequency uh, corresponding with the resonance of your top of your guitar or the body of it or the wood or the neck. For instance, if you hit an A note on the top of your guitar, you know, we know expensive acoustic guitars, a lot of them, they tap tune the top, the wood. Uh, to make it resonate best around, say, A440 or whatever key the guitar is being uh, built to play in. You know what I mean? Generally speaking, they build them around A440 tap tuning the top of the guitar, okay? So, so sometimes when you hit a note, an A note on a guitar like that, just using this as a general uh, reference, it can happen in many other ways, which I'll kind of touch on. I'll say, uh, like I say, I'm going to keep this as short as possible. Okay, your top is tap tuned to A440 standard tuning, okay? And you hit an A note on that guitar. If that A note you're hitting is not exactly the same frequency the guitar is, uh, you know, built to produce, if it's off just a wee little bit, you're going to hear a strange wolf note in there that you don't want. And it's uh, usually, like I say, it's louder than all the notes around it. Uh, and it's, uh, we, well, here's another way I can explain it to you. You electric guitar players will maybe can follow me here. Let's take an electric guitar, okay, tuned in standard A440 pitch. On the high E string, come down to the 12th fret and note that, and you got a high E note there, okay? On your B string, your second string, note it on the, uh, what is the 15th fret, I think, and bend the second string up until it matches that E note that you're holding on the 12th fret of the first string. Bend it up to where those two frequencies match. Now, right before they match, you hear this uh, in and out of phase going on. That's, a, that's the same thing as a wolf note. Or if you bend that second string up to the E, where they're perfectly even, and then bend it a little bit more, you're going to hear that phasing, in and out of phase crap going on. Alright? That's uh, the easiest way I can think of to explain a wolf note. That's what's happening on acoustic guitars. When you hear a wolf note on there, uh, you know, it could be like two frequencies, almost the same, but just not quite, you know. Now, how do we get rid of it? Well, they make, believe it or not, they make uh, wolf tone eliminators, or wolf note... Uh, dampeners. Search Google for either one of those. You'll see what I mean. There are little devices that you can put uh, behind, between the bridge and saddle and your tailpiece on instruments that have string there. And not all of them do, like most acoustic guitars. Well, not most. A lot of acoustic guitars with bridge pins, the string just comes right up and over the saddle. I'm talking about these, uh, say, like arch stock guitars that have a tailpiece and a floating bridge or saddle, and you have maybe that much string between the tailpiece and the bridge, okay? Sometimes those open strings can cause wolf notes to happen when you're playing and hit certain notes. Now, talking about this A note and A top tune or E note, it's not always an A or E. It can be any note on the scale. It can be anything. It depends on how your instrument was built, you know, if it was tuned or, or not tuned, you know, to play at a certain frequency or whatever. Wolf notes generally will happen on every single instrument out there somewhere. you got to get in there and find it, man. <laughs> and sometimes you find it and you don't want to find it. I mean, you don't want it happening, you know. Say it's on the notes you play a lot. Anyways, these little devices you can get, dampeners or uh, uh, eliminators, put them on behind, between your tailpiece and a bridge or saddle, whatever your instrument's got. Put those on, you know, figure out which string you need to do it on. Maybe on all of them wouldn't hurt. Also, above the nut, the string from the nut to the pegs 
on the peg head. <laughs> uh, those areas, you know, some of them's got quite a bit of a lengthy string up there above the nut, okay? People say, well, you think above the nut don't matter. Well, yeah, it does, man. Why do you see all these people tying uh, rags or, or hair rib and hair ties or socks or whatever around that? It's to kill, kill those wolf notes. They have found, if you get on a wolf note, I don't know what I was going to say on an acoustic guitar, but it's pretty bad on electric guitars too. It will drive you crazy, man. It will drive you insane. And uh, you've got to find it. You can even, as little, as little as adjusting your truss rod a little bit, tightening it or loosening it, just a crack on the wrench, sometimes that will get rid of the wolf note. Maybe you'll find another one somewhere else, but it will get rid of the biggest one. You know, just little things like that. Uh, string gauge. Sometimes you can change the gauge string that you use. Sometimes, whatever uh, string the wolf note is occurring on, you can just change the gauge of that one string and problem solved, generally. There'll be another one somewhere, but it you know, maybe not be as pronounced as the one you just fixed. And there's a lot of things that you can do like that. I don't know if these wolf note eliminators or dampeners or whatever they're called work. I assume they do because, you know, anytime you have string, that much string between your tailpiece and bridge, you're going to get some noise out of that when you're playing the instrument normally. Same with above the nut. You're going to get some noise from that unless you dampen it with a, a sock or an old rag or something, you know, to put up there and not let those strings ring out. I was working on an electric guitar and I think it was the E string, I think, above the nut, you could hit that note with your pick, above the nut between the nut and the peg, and it was a D note, if I remember right. And every time I would hit a D note, any D on the fretboard, you would hear this awful sound, man. I thought it was, uh, you know, like string buzz is what I thought it was when I first heard it, but it kind of fluctuates like I was telling you down on electric guitar when you bend the second string up to match the first to match that E note you're holding at the 12th fret. It's kind of like that. Every D note, but the lower D notes, like on the wound strings, I could hear hear that even more. Finally figured it out. It was the first string, I think, this has been some time ago, but it was the first string, I think, between the nut and the peg. You could hear it was the D note, and that was ringing every time I would hit a lower D note. It did it on the high D notes, too. It wasn't nearly as bad or as loud, but through an amp, Man, it drive you crazy, you know, especially if you have, uh, you know, any kind of drive or gain or distortion. I'm hearing all kinds of stuff go on around me here. Cue ball's here with me somewhere, and I hope that's her because me and her is the only one here. Got a big snowstorm on outside. Hope you guys survived the blizzard. Uh, well, by the time you see this, it'll probably be all melted off in summertime again. Lily, is that you making all that noise? You want to make a YouTube videos? Anyways, folks, I hope this helps you with your wolf nose. This is just barely touching on, on the problem. You know, you can get really deep into this. I'm not going to get that deep into it. I just thought I'd throw this out there. Uh, if you find a wolf note on your guitar, if you want to hear what a wolf note sounds like, take an electric guitar, crank the gain up on it. That's what I was going to say. The more gain you have on it, the more you can hear that. Note to... Note to high E string. There's all kind of crap going on, man. It's a house that never sleeps. What do you expect? Note the first E string, the high E, at the 12th fret. That'll be an E note. And note your second string, I think, at the 15th fret. And bend that second string up to match the frequency of the first string noted at the 12th fret, the E note. Right before you get to where they match, you're going to hear that phasing in and out of phase. It's a funky noise, man. And it'll do it until you bend all the way up and match those two notes, you know, identically as you can. And like I say, if you go past that, bend it more, you're going to hear that again. You can do it on the second string at the 12th fret and the third one at the, what is, 14th fret. Bend the third one up to match the second one. You'll hear that right before the two frequencies match. You're going to hear that noise I'm talking about. It's like in and out of phase. And uh, depending on how close you get to the frequency, it speeds up or slows down. Uh, I, I haven't been playing much guitar. I can't, it's hard for me to remember all this. But I'm telling you, <laughs> experiment with it. You'll see what I'm talking about. That, my friend, is the same equivalent to a wolf note. 
say on an acoustic guitar when you hit a hit a, a, a note that's got a wolf in it for lack of better words <laughs> that phasing in and out unless it matches exactly the resonance of the body or the neck or whatever it is and like I say change gauge on one string change gauge all your strings uh, try adjusting your tress rod just a wee crack one way or the other sometimes that'll get rid of the wolf note dampen it between the saddle and the tailpiece if you have that kind of setup or between the nut and the peg on the peg head <laughs> if you have that kind of setup you know if you have a wolf note that's bothering you that bad if you find one it'll be louder usually it's louder and all the rest and it'll bother you pretty bad it'll bother you that bad you know if you're playing quality music or want to play quality music or recording you don't want wolf notes in your recording cheers and peace to y'all hope you didn't get snowed in i love you guys and i hope this helps and i'll see you on a video on a channel near you soon stay tuned i'm going to put a link in the description down here maybe a couple of them but one of them for sure of a guy i found on youtube youtube that uh, talks about wolf notes he's actually i think he's playing a cello or maybe a double bass anyways he really explains it well and he demonstrates a wolf eliminator or a dampener or whatever you want to call it it's a good uh, he's spot on man i wouldn't link the link you guys to this if i didn't think he was spot on he's dead on the money talking about uh you know how to get rid of it on a cello i think that's what he was playing i have to watch the video again but he really explains it well so click the link check it out it's the same thing with guitars man there's such little minute things you can do to get rid of those wolf notes and there's so many of them and that's why i say i'm just touching on it here you can get really deep into this you know if you want to <laughs> so i choose chose not to on this particular video anyways check the links out or link whatever i put there it's going to be good it's going to be, well Probably won't be too good. Might be alright. Make it and see.